that made. The guys at DuPont have been cooking up some pretty wild things in the lab for quite some time now. And 30 years ago, the mines at DuPont came up with Corian. You know Corian, right? Corian, a spice? A new music group. It's probably somebody that came from Korea or something that came from Korea. Wrong, wrong, wrong. This is Corian. They make beautiful countertops out of it. It's a very strong, very tough surface. But what's in it? It's kind of a marbleized substance, like marble rock. Recycled glass. Sh seashells, primarily. To find out, let's go to DuPont in Buffalo, New York, where beautiful sinks and countertops like these are in production right now. Ed Tremba is the resident Mr. Wizard here at the Buffalo plant. Maybe he can get us started. Corian is basically 60 to 65 percent of what we call an inorganic filler or material. And it starts off with this. This is mined by one of our suppliers. It's called bauxite ore. They take this ore and from it, after clarifying it, cleaning it up and digesting, they get a nice white powder, which we call ATH. This may look like the surface of the moon, but it's actually the surface of a train car full of ATH, short for alumina trihydrate. Michael Gross shows us how it enters the process. We got a, a vacuum blower, and we got a, um, a filtering system, and we have uh, hoses that we hook up to, and we suck the ATH to the powder out of the rail cars and um, in turn put it into the silo. The ATH travels down through the silos in a series of shakers and shoots, where it meets the second key ingredient in Corian. Now this by itself is nothing until we mix it with this little clear syrup, which we call methyl methacrylate syrup, and it's basically an acrylic. So these two constitute around 98% of our Corian. Mixing the Corian is supervised by computer, Area Superintendent Mike Miklovich explains. And here we combine the alumina and the high performance acrylic into what we call raw mix. And the way to think about that is uh, to draw a pancake analogy. You mix up flour, water, and milk to make your batter. And in a very similar way, we mix the alumina powder with the high performance acrylic to make a raw mix for Corian. This might be a good time to remind you, we're not making this, we're making this. Lovely countertops. Let's watch as the liquid Corian hardens and is cut and trimmed into countertops. This isn't magic. This lettering is applied with an inkjet, similar to the way the inkjet printer for a computer works. The sheets of Corian get showered, scrubbed, and polished to a high gloss. Then they're ready for anything, and I do mean anything. But for now, they'll have to be content just being sorted and stacked into piles. Corian sheets leave DuPont for retail finishers like Shannon Enterprises. Comes in sheet goods. Normally we buy them in 30 by 12 feet and we just get the straight sheet good. We make cutouts and we add thick edges to them and backsplashes and also we do vanity tops and mostly a lot of showers also. There's the whistle, but there's still more to tell. When we rejoin the line, we'll show you how Corian assumes a complex shape like a sink. Forget the pancake analogy, we're making waffles when we return. 
We're taking a look at how DuPont Corian is made. Let's get cooking. We all know what happens when you pour pancake batter into a waffle iron. DuPont Superintendent Don Janizek explains how liquid Corian can be molded into complex shapes in much the same way. In the sheet process, we're making what is the equivalent of pancakes. Here we're making waffles. We take uh, the same raw mix and uh, essentially the same chemistry and we inject this raw mix uh, with the various pigments and additives into these three and a half ton molds. Uh, the molds are filled from bottom to top. Uh, once they're filled, they're then moved from the uh, area where they're being filled into our reaction area and into a reaction tunnel where the molds are sprayed with water to maintain a certain temperature. And the molds then continue on to our unload area where, they, uh, where the cured product is removed from the molds. When the molds are open, we've got sinks of Corian. After some fancy finishing, some by human, some by robot, it goes into the finishing area where we do uh, milling. Uh, from the milling, we do some sanding, and uh, some all of that sanding is done by hand. Uh, and then it's put in the boxes for customer use. The sink can be glued into a counter using, guess what, liquid Corian. Because it's 100% Corian, with a little sanding, there will be no seams at all. And according to Don, it'll last forever.